Hi, today our topic is that uh, how the information technology is uh, helping supply chain management uh, to grow and to develop in a big business. We are going to briefly uh, touch base these uh, some of the topics like how the information technology evolved, what is the use of IT in supply chain management, what is the concept of IT, why we need that and what are the tools of uh, IT in business and its application in supply chain management benefits and the role in the development of supply chain management types and the drivers uh, benefit of integrated supply chain management tools and role of internet in supply chain management and some issues with supply chain uh, management system and then we will conclude our lecture. So, how information technology is evolved in um, uh, business. So, this from this picture you can see that it is like uh, from low or first line to the uh, higher side of uh, uh, technology and then usage is high. So, first is like we used uh, this uh, information technology in operations like transactions, processing systems, data uh, warehousing and data mining. Then we the next step or the next level was decision making and uh, control which was management information system decision support system executive information system that management control system and uh, balanced scorecard so the next and uh, adding strategic value to our business was that sometimes was internal coordination and then external coordination so in international in internal coordination we have intranets uh, we have social networking knowledge management and then uh, enterprise resource planning and then external we have integrated uh, enterprise and then customer uh, relationship management and then e business so this is the way uh, technology information technology has evolved evolve in the business so from simple to more complex, from transactional processing to more strategic uh, process in the business. So these are some practical examples of uh, evolution of information technology in businesses that it start from customer billing, then inventory control, then payroll, accounting, planning and analysis, and then finally design of the business through IT. Uh, this is a pictorial, pictorial representation presentation of uh, the uh, information technology we are using in uh, supply chain management. It is like uh, you can start from anywhere from human resource, engineering, marketing and sales, manufacturing, warehousing and then planning and finance and accounting and distribution. So all the function of the supply chain management uh, we <coughs> involve the information technology in supply chain management. Basically, what is information technology? Actually, the concept of IT is as a study of design, development, implementation, support or management of computer-based information systems and particularly software applications and computer hardware. So when we say uh, IT, information technology, basically we are talking about these things. Uh, some of the basic uh, things uh, our needs for this reason we are using IT that is like data transfer, information retrieval and machines and process control. These are some of the basic needs uh, we have from, we full, fulfill from IT, with, with IT. Uh, then next our topic is IT tools for business. So we use project management, CAD, CAM, computer integrated manufacturer, Manufacturing, Manufacturing Execution System, MIS, Decision Sports, Export Systems, Knowledge Management, ERP, CRM and Supply Chain Management which is our main topic of today. Uh, IT application in Supply Chain Management, IT is the most revolutionary driver behind the modern Supply Chain Management. So, you know, in my opinion, IT is the mother of order supply chain management. What does it improve the improves the relation management with the suppliers and delivering values to the customers. 
and also improving the functions different functions of the supply chain management what are the main benefits of it in business it is reaching objectives in multiple ways so it will tell us there are more than one way to achieve our objective understanding of issue well in advance so we can predict or forecast the issues we are going to face in future and then uh, defining set of steps to achieve those goals so we can set the goals future goals and then we have make the strategy with the help of it to achieve those goals it has played a major role in development of uh, in the in the of the supply chain management how we are to reach this stage so uh, for example in uh, manufacturing or material requirement planning uh, or mrp cad is used to calculate the material from the drawings the manufacturing material requirement plan 2 is you know we have mis uh, database management system and re relational uh, database management system used for the data management so all these uh, planning uh, of material and all requirements we get Uh, through the uh, using the different application of IT enterprise uh, resource planning that is the major uh, <coughs> you major inst uh, application we are using nowadays in supply chain management It is like an integrated multiple uh, multimodal application software package designed to serve and support uh, uh, several business function across the organization so it is like a, a enterprise resource planning is we are doing integrated planning for a whole organization supply and then the <coughs> supply chain management is also like transactional education collaboration and coordination the scene sports these are all uh, <coughs> uh, it is playing role in these all uh, uh, functions or the biz uh, business function so uh, it is like uh, for material management for everything Uh, we are using that IT in supply chain. In this slide, you know, I try to show you that uh, types of the IT used in supply chain management and what are the drivers for using IT in the supply chain management. For example, transactional processing. It why we use that? It is elimination of human errors, reduction of cost, speeding of uh, uh, information transfers, and volume of the transaction. then supply chain planning and collaboration that uh, it helps us to uh, work in unpredictable and logis logistically demanding environment so it will help us to uh, forecast it will help us to put together all the logistics of actions together to meet the uh, uh, challenging environments uh, of the business then order tracking and delivery coordination this is another uh, use of uh, it in supply chain management so we can do with project orientation of the business and in transit delivery co um, consolidation so we can cons consolidate we can track and we can make more efficient our delivery and tracking system so let's discuss uh, the types of it used in uh, supply chain management in a little bit uh, in a in a more in a explain it to more so it used for transaction processing to increase the efficiency of repetitive information exchange between supply chain partners in this type of id use the exchange information is typically related to such tasks as ordering processing billing delivery verification generating and sending dispatch advice advices and uh, producing uh, order codes so these are kind of repetitive uh, things which we do every day many times so it helps us to automate atom these things so number two, number 2 next is uh, okay the next uh, why we are using these uh, drivers to use it in supply chain is due to reduction in cost speeding up volume of transaction elimination of human errors uh, sports in unpredictable logistically demanding environment like i already explained to you and then to project orientation of the business and then in transit delivery consolidation so these are some of the drivers we use it in supply chain benefits of integrated supply chain tools at create what does it do that at this tool create electronic connection with their suppliers eliminate the paperwork waste uh, reach full potential through use of web based software and communication handle most of the elements involved in the supply chain management including procurement communication exchange of data and running the supply chain faster 
have uh, ability to co uh, collaborate with other companies for mutual benefits so integrated supply chain management tools uh, integrated us with the other uh, organization other businesses from our suppliers to our customers or retailers or so uh, it will to run this uh, business more efficiently and effectively. since internet is connecting all our uh, things together so role of internet in supply chain management is also very important so connecting our supply chain with the other supply chains of our suppliers customers together in a single vast network to optimize cost and create opportunity for every one involved like b2b other benefit could be providing information availability visibility enabling single point of contact for data so is it like consolidating the data in one place allowing decision based on total supply chain information so we can see the full picture enabling cooperation with the partners so we can uh, it will make us uh, make able us to collaborate with our other supply chain partners so basically it is a key benefiting from it strategically to redesign business process so after all this information we can uh, redesign our business for better uh, efficiency and effectiveness of our business and supply chain uh, we talk about the benefits and its uh, goody things but there are some issues with supply chain management system with it as are also because it make our uh, supply chain more complex and it makes us more dependent on other people and uh, sometimes we have uh, issues in procuring the systems and implement them according to our uh, requirement or our objectives so uh, but uh, having said this is the uh, issues are less and its benefits are more so now the modern supply chain management could cannot be run without uh, the help of it so we have to overcome these things with more training with more uh, reliability and with more expertise and skills so at the end of the lecture let's uh, con conclude our uh, discussion uh, by saying that that uh, since this world is shrinking day by day with the advancement of technology customers expectations are rising companies are prone to more and more uncertain environment companies will find their conventional supply chain integration will have to expand it beyond their peripheries uh the strategic and technological innovation in supply chain will impact on how organization buy and sell in the future a clear vision strong planning and technical insight into internet capabilities would be necessary to ensure that companies maximize the internet potential for better supply chain management and ultimately improve competitiveness uh, internet technology like uh, world wide web electronic e-commerce and um, electronic commerce e business will change the way the company is required to do the business these companies must realize uh, that they must harness the power of technology to collaborate with their business partners that means using a new breed of supply chain applications the internet and other networking links to observe past performance and historical trend to determine how much product should be made as well as the best and cost effective methods for warehousing it or shipping to the retailer so without it it is impossible to run a supply a modern supply chain uh, management or do the supply chain management so this was like a brief uh, discussion about uh, it and supply chain management if you have any question please uh, feel free to ask me or ask, write down in the comment section so i will be glad to answer all those your questions thank you for your time and listening